Hi, I'm Stuggy and welcome to my channel, Beals and Whiskey. Join me as I visit the stories within easy riding distance from a local train station and join the scenery and maybe a wee nip from my hip flask. The routes I use will always be linked in the description for others to try themselves. Hi, I'm Stuggy. I'm out with the Beals and Whiskey. This is my second video in the series Whiskey Trails where I'll be visiting Kingston Distillery and also paying a wee visit to my favourite whisky shop and calendar. Enjoy the journey. To elaborate on what I've just said, uh, today's journey is starting at Stirling and is about a 60k ride, although there are some other options to ride. You set off from Stirling Station, obviously I uh, can see Stirling Castle as you drive, as you ride by it, and then heading on to Dune and then on to Deanston Distillery, where I chose to continue on to Calendar Drinks Company to pick up a few samples there before heading back through Dune and on to the Brain Cathedral and then taking the road back to Stirling. There are a few shorter options to avoid the big hill coming out of Bridge of Allen. Uh, one of those is to start and finish at the Blaine train station or just go to the distillery and go back to Stirling again. As you can see that's us now entering the cycle path. Okay, here we've got a bit of an interesting crossing. Uh, so again, don't cross when the red light shows. So no red light. It's a little green light there. So let's head across. Okay, that's us back on the cycle path. Some nice cherry blossoms there. That's us now. There's a ballon back on the cycle path and head towards the first town to get with the inner route, which is Dumbleen. This is now in Dumblain. We'll pass through here later on and maybe go and visit the cathedral. But again, a point to keep. Uh, only later after that, how would it climb? This is out of Dumblain. Heading now to Dun. Back on the quiet cycle pass. Well, Whitish, and this one over the A9.
I think I shared this in the last video, but you're coming to Scotland is is a cycle network which covers a good bit of Scotland. It's a mixture of paths like this, trails, issues, railway lines, uh, canal paths, and they're a good way to see Scotland. Uh, it takes a bit off the beaten track, away from all the traffic, away from all the noise. Morning. Today we're travelling, following the route 765, you may just see it on the lamppost there, which is the main route, set from Stirling, all the way out to Dune, which is our second D in our three Ds, three Ds and a Dram. That's us now it done. A nice big village to stay, stay at if you're staying overnight and want to sort of tour this area. Unfortunately, I don't have time to stop. I was hoping to do a slow intro to this story. Talking about the river Heath and how it feeds the distillery. But right now, we're a few minutes late on my appointment. Hopefully, I'll let me join the tour. Just come out of Deanston Distillery, a little tour there. It's a short drive from Stirling uh, and also a nice bike ride from Stirling. Uh, it's quite an old building, it's an old cotton mill which used to employ a few thousand people uh, and closed in the 1960s and then was repurposed to be a whisky distillery. Some unique features regarding the place, apart from it being an ex-cotton mill, uh, the river you see running behind me is the River Teeth and the River Teeth uh, not just gives the fiskey its water, it also powers the distillery so to the point that they actually feed back into the national grid. There's so much electricity being produced. The distillery is part of uh, the Distel Group, which also own Bunahaben and Tomomori distilleries. The uh, two distilleries I'd love to visit and get a tour of. Uh, so that's me finished the distillery tour here, 
I will include some uh, videos and some pictures of the areas I'd like to take photographs in. But now we are going to head to Calder, not for another distillery, uh, but to visit a nice whiskey shop where I've got to pick up a few samples for a future tasting, which I'm doing. So see you en route. So this is Deanston. This would previously be the houses used to house all the workers in the mill factory. They've got their own school and everything. Looks a very nice, quiet place to live. So it's now out of Deanston, heading towards our next stop in Calendar. I mean, you maybe just a bit myself. Uh, I'm in my fifties. Uh, pretty unfit from a after going to university. I'm pretty much stayed unfit for most of my adult life until about eight years ago or so I decided to try and start getting fit and I took up running doing the couch to 5k many of you will probably know what that is but it's a program to get you to run 5 kilometers over 10 weeks and then from there I continued to build up and after a couple of years I completed my uh, couple of marathons the Edmund Marathon and also the Loch Ness Marathon which is a beautiful route up the side of Loch Ness hopefully cycle up there someday soon after that a lot of my running friends then pursued the ultra distance doing the 50 mile runs and stuff and I just didn't feel that was my cup of tea so I had a long term goal to, to do a triathlon to do an Ironman so I set my sights on that and over the course of a couple of years done some short distance triathlons and then I'll put it done uh, the Outlaw which is Nottingham which is a full distance Ironman and then there's my ultimate one I done Ironman Wales, which for those who don't know it, it's quite a hilly course, but it's a 2.4 mile swim in the sea, followed by a 112 mile bike ride, and then a marathon to finish. And after I completed that, uh, I'd actually injured myself. I couldn't do run too much. I had a a tool which I've still to get looked at and fixed. Unfortunately the pandemic got in the way. But over the last few years uh, because I couldn't go swimming, because I couldn't do running and I sort of fell out of love with cycling, I got a bit overweight, very unfit. Still overweight, still unfit. Uh, and this year decided to make a difference and thought why not bring together a couple of my hobbies which is a bit of photography uh, I like my whiskies and I want to get back into cycling again so the, the plan for this YouTube video really is just a way to motivate me to get fit at the same time Enjoy around the beautiful landscape of Scotland and visiting some distilleries. So, hope you enjoyed these videos. There will be more to come. I don't know if this is still the River Teeth or not. I guess it's seen Mark when we get home.
happen is we leave Calendar. We're going back a slightly different route. It'll take us back to Dun. Just a head out of Calendar. The path moves into a bit of a more of a a little gravelly, a bit more of a, a trail. And back to a bit more of a smoother road surface again. There's always little streams, little bridges that you cross over. All really nice looking. Hopefully. It's all doing hell to do. I doubt it. We got a nice little road. Very quiet. Only a few hikers. A few packed cars, but we have to join the main road because we head into Dun. So And just keep in the pressure, just enjoy the road. When I got to do and I realised that my camera battery had run out and all we have is this picture from Dune Castle. Uh, but I could take my journey on and hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. I plan to release a Biscuit Trails video once every month with some other videos in between.